What's up, y'all? Yep. Been a while since I've been making fresh videos, but not. I got some videos still on the queue I need to upload, I need to get on. It's been swamped with doing all kinds of stuff and whatnot. As you can see, the garage is a mess again. Yeah, slowly uh, working on stuff. But, uh, just a quick little update for you. Rat Rod Mower is dead. Yeah. Blew it up. I don't know what's wrong with it, if it's a head gasket or what. But, be another day. I'll rip it apart, whatnot. And, uh, yeah, working on cleaning the workbench up. It was a little cleaner, but now it's screwed up again. Yeah. And, come out here. Yeah, new toy. I have another video on that. So, check that out a little bit. Yeah, start them out young. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, might be digging this thing out here soon. Oh, yeah. Go-kart. Project build. I gotta rebuild the engine and all that. And it needs to everything. But, uh, this mower, I might have plans for it here soon. Let's say it might become a derby car. So, yeah. <laughs> Chasing the ducks around. Wah, wah. I'm gonna chase that. Chase them. <laughs> yeah, our ducks have gotten pretty big. <laughs> Stupid ducks. <laughs> yeah, come around here. Oh, shit. What do we have? Yeah. I got a video on this, but I'm thinking about redoing the video because I'm not really too thrilled about it. I could have done a better job on it. And this sucker just got this in the other day. Yeah. Story behind it, we got this in on trade. We had a 2000 Dodge Durango, which unfortunately I wasn't able to make a video on for you. But it was a pretty nice Durango for what it was. And well, we had let a couple people come live with us. They ran our bills up and ate our food, so we were forced to uh, sell Durango to make ends meet, get caught back up on the bills thanks to them. So a good buddy of mine, uh, he was looking for another SUV with third row seating. So we made a deal. I got this truck off him and some cash, and he got the Durango. So we all came out pretty happy. This truck is an 88 Chevy, you know, Scottsdale pickup, half ton pickup. It's a good old race car hauler for the longest time. It was parked a couple years ago because of brake failure. The uh, back brakes were completely just about seized up on it, pretty bad, to where they'd lock up just whenever. So I went ahead and we got the truck here, got up trailer. I went ahead and replaced all the back brakes completely. Wheel cylinders, brake shoes, got the drums turned, all new hardware. Yeah, over $100 worth of parts for the rear end. Got the rear brakes working, and now the front brakes are starting to lock up. So it's going to need uh, calipers, brake pads, and probably rotors on the front next. But other than that, it's a good run old truck. It's a good old work truck. Got all four matching wheels with basically brand new tires. Matching camper shell. Yeah, your typical old work truck. Got the crank windows and all that. Put the key in here. Yep. It's got them stupid gauges I absolutely hate. But yeah, interior is really not bad. Other right, than this one spot in the seat, but that's something the seat cover can't fix. Headliner's in even good shape. Dome light even works. I just noticed. Mm, got map lights. Yeah, not too bad though. Pop the hood and check this out. When you pop the hood. Holy shit, it actually pops. That's rare for a Chevy. Come around here. And being a work truck, you expect to be a V6? Nope. 350. It's got a fairly new alternator, fairly new water pump. It's got a new uh, brake mash cylinder. Which, yeah, I've got brake fluid there. works. I bled the system and it bubbled out and yeah, whatever. Um... I had to uh, flush the system, all that's left is the front brakes. Fairly decent battery, which it's still on the weak side from sitting. But yeah, 
Not bad little 350. Uh, the motor and transmission have been replaced. The truck has 200 something thousand miles on it, somewhere around there. Yeah, it's got 229,000 miles on the truck. But the uh, engine and transmission have less than 40,000 on them. So, you know, it's all been replaced. It runs pretty decent for a truck that sat for a couple of years. Watch out. Get back. Just need your basic tune up. Fire dried up. Missing the mirror. We got something whining, not sure what yet. Not a bad running truck though. The brake light's still on because I'm still working on the brakes. Yeah, I hate those gauges. Yeah. I have no idea what the hell that buzzing is when you turn the key on and off. Radio does not work, or it works when it wants to, but half time it's not working. But other than that, everything works. Uh, I don't think the AC works though smell that bad gas you know it's got your typical Chevy rust you know the rockers just starting to go wheel wells are gone tailgate's good on it yeah I smell that rotten gas this wheel wells completely gone and this rocker is starting to go but uh or that cab corner rocker still good watch out yeah Got matching wheels. I guess. Not bad. Yeah. It's got a trailer hitch on it because it was for hauling stuff. Yeah, even came with all this bonus stuff. Got a nice camper shell. It's the type of camper shell that even has the uh, dome light in the rear. Hey. Rubber floor mat, solid floors. Pretty well taken care of for the most part. That's loud. You know, not too bad for what we gave. Okay. Once the brakes are done, I'll. Probably either sell it or trade it because I'm not a Chevy guy. I've never had any luck out of Chevrolet. I have no intention of keeping it. So. But uh, yeah. I thought you all liked to see that. But yeah. And it'll be another video on the rest thing. On what's up with it and whatnot and lolly dolly doll. But I'm going to call this video done. So, till then, well, let's go make this update video. Why not? But yeah. Also, uh, if you're wondering about the derby car or the wagon, the wagon I haven't touched in months. I'll get to it eventually. The derby car is almost ready to go again for next month's derby. So, yeah. Till then, uh, catch y'all later.